Hello and welcome back, and if you are new here, welcome, we are very glad to have you here. Inspired by a lot of YouTube videos, and we are using word, inspired, with all possible sarcasm we can muster, in last video we have demonstrated how to assemble acrylic case the wrong way. In this video, continuing previous sarcasm, we will demonstrate how to assemble DSO-138 oscilloscope protective acrylic case, in God-honoring way. At this point in video, we would like to express our deep appreciation to a male country singer, who is also a beautiful woman, an inspiration in general, an icon. Before you begin, please make sure that you have all parts in your kit, number 1, for, bottom caps, number 2, for, long screws, number 3, for, small hex nuts, number 4, for, small screws for fixing the display, number 5, 8 bigger hex nuts, number 6, for, sliders caps, you will only need 3, 1 is spare, number 7, 6 push button caps, you will only need 5, 1 is spare, 1 screen plate, 2 spacer plates, top and bottom plate, 4 side plates, oscilloscope, and probe. If you have a pair of tweezers, you will find them more than handy, given that screws and hex nuts are fairly small and fidgety to handle. Next, using utility knife, remove protective film from acrylic plates, push buttons, and sliders caps. Be careful not to scrape acrylic plates. A good suggestion is that you start to peel off protective film from outer edges of plates, using utility knife. When you are done, you should have all your plates, and cover caps clear of protective film, and ready to assemble. The first step is to remove display from assembly. Carefully lift display from assembly by pulling the display up, until it clears from socket. Make sure you apply equal pressure when lifting the display in order not to bend connectors placed under the display. When done, set the display aside. Now, take the screen plate and place the display onto the plate, make sure that the display and the plate are orientated as shown on the photo. Use the four smaller screws and hex nuts to bolt the display onto the plate. Here, you will find pair of tweezers handy, given that screws and hex nuts are very small. Take care not to screw the display too tightly to the plate, it is not necessary, you just need to make sure that the display is in place and not moving around. Tightening the screws too much may cause acrylic plate to break. Now, take the plate with mounted display and put the display back onto the board, again, making sure that you align pins so that you do not bend them. If you have carefully followed the outline steps, the plate and display should easily slide back into the display socket on the board. If not done already, remove protective film from display. Also, remove white plastic spacers if you had them installed. A pro tip, use lens-free cloth to wipe fingerprints and dust from screen before continuing. Set board aside. Let's assemble the bottom plate. Take four long screws and thread them through circular openings in the bottom plate. Use hex nuts to bolt the screws and plate together. Use two hex nuts per screw. Assembled like this, the hex nuts will act as spacer between bottom plate and bottom of the oscilloscope. Remove probe cable from oscilloscope. Remove white plastic feet if any. Take back plate and mount it on oscilloscope. Pay attention that narrow spaced feet on back plate are facing down. They will go into openings on the bottom plate. Mount oscilloscope on the bottom plate, threading screws through the appropriate opening on the board. Make sure that bottom plate fits correctly into position. Take front plate and mount it, again making sure, that narrow spaced feet are facing down. Take left and right side plate, and mount them in the appropriate openings on bottom plate. 
Make sure that narrow spaced feet are facing down. Make sure that all edge openings on side plates connect with appropriate feet on back and front plate. Before proceeding, make sure that probe and power connector on the back and USB connector on the front are centered and accessible. Take two spacers plates and mount them on top of the oscilloscope. The spacer plates are not symmetrical, so pay close attention regarding orientation. Top right corner should have a square opening for white power connector. Take three caps for sliders and five caps for push buttons and mount them. Make sure that grooves on slider caps properly hooks onto switches. Test them to make sure that is so. Also test all push buttons to see if caps are mounted in proper way. Take top plate and mount it, threading screws through appropriate holes. Top plate is not symmetrical. Top right corner should have a square opening for white power connector. Use four hex nut caps to bolt the top plate. Do not over tight the caps. Tighten them just enough that everything is hold securely in place. Over tightening them might cause slider caps and push buttons to lock. You also risk shattering acrylic case if you apply too much pressure. Now we have properly assembled protective acrylic case for our DSO-138 oscilloscope. Please, before you leave, show your appreciation by liking this video, sharing it, leaving a comment, and consider subscribing. Thank you, and see you next time. Bye.